Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about eight spiritual laws concerning money. God has laws about money that he will not violate. And if you know these laws, it makes finances a whole lot easier. Amen. Say this with me on this happy Wednesday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Good things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Glory to God. Is that great? Always say this with me on these videos. And then say this stuff, talk like this about yourself. You'll be amazed at what happens. Share this video with everybody you know today, please. Nobody is preaching on this level. Nobody. So we want to make sure we share these videos. And call me if you need prayers answered. And call me when you do your offerings and donations. A lot of you have done your offerings and donations the first part of the week. Some of you have called to be blessed and some of you haven't. I want to speak the word for word blessing over you. Monday was blessing day. I can't tell you how many people called on Monday to have the blessing spoken over them. We are getting God's people blessed. Our partners are blessed. Some of them are blessed on a level I can't even tell you about because God's word works. Huh? I want to talk to you about today about eight, eight spiritual laws I just thought of another one. Eight spiritual laws of money. Eight spiritual laws of money. If you follow God's laws of money, you'll wind up rich. Number one, you need money. You, I can't tell you how many Christians I have known who said, I don't need money? Oh, yeah? Try to live without it. Try to, live, try to go to the store and buy your food. I've got a flash for you. Jesus needed money. He had money. He had, money. He had Jesus was not broke when he was on this earth. People think he was. He wasn't. He was not broke. Not by a long shot. He had so much money that one of his disciples carried a money bag. They didn't have bank accounts. They didn't have Wells Fargo or Chase Bank or any of these banks. No, they didn't have banks. Jesus, they carried the money with them. Remember, at one point, uh, he needed money for his taxes. Peter says you need money for your taxes. Jesus said, go catch a fish. There will be a gold coin in that fish's mouth. Pay my taxes and yours. Jesus had to pay taxes. Everybody paid taxes. So he needed money to pay taxes. Don't get so all fired up and say, well, I don't need money. I can't tell you, people say that all the time. I'm just living off the land. I'm just going around and having God provide. Don't go around until you can afford it. Amen. You have to live within your means. 
but your means can sure change. Jesus needed money, and so do you. That's a spiritual law. It's a spiritual law. Number two. Number two spiritual law about money is there is a power out there to get wealth. There's a power to get wealth. A force, a spiritual force to get wealth that causes wealth to come to people. It's out there and it's available to you. Deuteronomy 8.18, God said, but thou shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives the power to get wealth. This power, this force to get wealth is out there, it's available, and it comes only from God. Only. You want a power to get wealth? Ask God for it. And if you believe you receive it, you'll have it. Start confessing it. I have the power to get wealth. I have this power. Start talking like that. The power to get wealth is upon me. Lord, give me your power to get wealth. Every day. That's part of my prayer. It's part of my morning prayer. Huh? One of these days before too long, I'll share my morning prayer with you. Huh? My morning prayer has made me rich. Has given me revelation beyond what probably hardly anybody else has ever had about God's word. That's where all those books come from. All those books that I write comes from my morning prayer. Everything I do, everything I say, all comes from my morning prayer. I'll share that with you one of these days. Right now, we're talking about God's spiritual laws of money. I gotta write this down. God's spiritual laws of, of, of money. This power to get wealth is a spiritual law. It's there. It's incredible. All you got to do is get a hold of this. Is get a hold of this. Number three, God's spiritual laws of concerning money is don't seek money. Seek God's kingdom and money will come to you. Everything you need will be given to you. Everything that costs money will come to you. In other words, you're going to have the money to get everything you need because you don't get things without money. Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything you need will be given to you. Well, if it's going to be given to you, the money will be provided to you for it. God does, usually doesn't, it doesn't just give you a house, a car, all that stuff. Now, that stuff can come to you for sure. But in most cases, it's going to take money to buy it. You're going to need to get the money to buy it. Now, sometimes people will just give you things. We've had that happen. We had a lady in our church, and this lady definitely seeked the kingdom. And this lady, and I'll tell you, I've never seen anything like that. I've known her for 25 years. Everything this woman has ever needed has come to her. She seeks the kingdom first. Sometimes people just give her things. Sometimes she gets the money to buy the things, but she always gets them. If she needs something, we'll pray about it and God will give it to her. And we don't even try to figure out how it's going to happen because how it's going to happen doesn't matter. I, I could care less about that. All I know is it will. She seeks the kingdom and everything she needs comes to her. Now, now that's the way a person is supposed to live. She has lived the life 
of an upper middle class person on a beautician's salary. Beauticians, bless their hearts, most of them do not make a lot of money. And she never made a lot of money. She did okay. But she lives in a beautiful home out here on the beach. You know, she's just, she's had every, one time she needed a car. So she came to church, we prayed, we prayed about the car. Somebody, in just a couple, two or three weeks, somebody died and left her a almost brand new Lincoln town car and a pile of cash that she had no idea was coming. Now, that just happens to be the way it came to her. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But she seeked the kingdom first. And everything she needed to come to her. I've had other people in our church, some of our, some of our partners. They seek the kingdom first. They get money they need to buy everything. These are spiritual laws. If you seek money first, it doesn't work. I stop chasing money. I let money chase me. I chased money for a lot of years, people. I know how it works. And it was a struggle the whole time. It was a struggle the whole time. But once I got the blessing of the Lord upon me, money started to chase me. Now, money just comes to me. Praise God from so many. It just You can't believe what happens. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God has a million ways of getting money to you. He has a million ways of getting things to you. People can just hand you things or people can hand you money to buy what you need. But if you seek the kingdom of God first, you'll see things like that happen. That's three of the spiritual laws. We're going to go through these spiritual laws. I got like six more of them. These are all really good. And what we'll do when we get through this is we'll make a list available so that you have these lists. Amen. Share this with everybody you know. Please. Tell everybody you know to watch these videos. Nobody is teaching on this level. And what is even more amazing, what makes me the ultimate pastor is I get results and I am always available to pray with my partners. You hook up with this ministry. I'm always here for you. And I tell people, I'm always here for you. People call me up until 11 o'clock at night. And they start at 9 o'clock in the morning. Please don't call before 9 o'clock in the morning. Because that's when we're getting our stuff done. Amen? But after 9 o'clock in the morning, that phone starts to ring. And I praise God. I can't tell you, today is Wednesday. I can't tell you how many calls I've had already this week. My phone has, rings constantly. I love to pray with God's people. And I love to get results. I get results, folks. I get prayers answered. I get people healed. I get people jobs. I find things for people when they lose them. I declare that they will find them and they find them. We make God's word work for people. This is the most amazing ministry in the country. There is no place else you can call and actually get a prayer answered. Tell everybody you know. We, we will get prayers answered for you or for anybody else for that matter. We get people healed off their deathbeds. We get financial miracles for people. We get people bailed out of court cases that are facing impossible situations. We give them favor and they win their court cases. I'm telling you, this always happens. We just had this happen this last week. An impossible court situation was turned around. Because of the power in the name of Jesus. And we give all the glory to God.